How did a gardening related nonprofit get involved with giving out a million pounds of food? This is the story. It's spring 2020. The first lockdown hits. Schools are closed. There's no in person activities. Urban Farming Education, a nonprofit which helps foster urban gardening and educational programs, we had to pivot because we were unable to conduct in person programs in gardens or classrooms. At that point, it wasn't an option. We wanted to ensure access to healthy food for everyone, which is essentially the same mission behind teaching people to grow their own food. Due to the shutdown, people were in need more than ever. In April of 2020, Mike McMahon of Urban Farming Education and Dory Morales of Green Living Magazine co-founded the Fresh Food Collab by forming partnerships with local organizations to redirect surplus food to our neighbors facing hunger. Mike and Dory were a natural collaboration pair as they were both very involved in community wellness and environmental issues. We had access to a community space in Agave Farms, which became another core member of the collab. Other core members were caterers Jennifer Johnson from Witnessing Nature and Food and Lori and Scott Harlig from Amici Catering. This core group was so motivated and generous, handling everything from organizing volunteers into food box assembly lines, to doing educational videos, to cooking up thousands of ready to eat meals for deliveries. The Fresh Food Collab had three main goals, reduce food waste, feed those in need, and food education. Beginning with that intention, we ordered cardboard boxes, we emailed our volunteer list in preparation of our first food distribution. Then on the day, Mike went down to a local food distributor, Peddler and Sons, and came back with a rental semi-truck full of food. And that's how it all started. For the first of many times that would follow, our army of dedicated volunteers packed the boxes with all the food and it was distributed to the community. We experimented with hosting food distribution at Agave Farms as well, where recipients would enter the north end of the farm and drive through to receive their food box, exiting the south end of the farm. Over the course of the next year, almost three dozen partners joined the Fresh Food Collab, and we made many new connections. We worked out a partnership with local food banks, the national nonprofit Feeding America, and the U.S. Department of Agriculture. UFE became part of the Feed America network and we became an agency of St. Mary's Food Bank. We purchased refrigerated trucks and forklifts and borrowed other equipment, tools, and personnel from our sister companies. These actions allowed us to become a mobile distribution pantry and gave St. Mary's Food Bank support for its distribution efforts within weeks of the start of the pandemic. We identified food deserts in South Central Phoenix, Maryvale, Levine, and along the I-10 corridor as our highest priority locations. We engaged in talks with community leaders, and quickly we began distributing food at eight different Levine schools on a semi-monthly basis. At some schools, we were working alongside the school's existing box lunch food distribution programs. The food boxes were always free. Anybody who came for a box could have a box, no strings attached. Furthermore, we were involved with the Feed Phoenix initiative launched in 2020 as a collaborative project between Local First Arizona and City of Phoenix. The Feed Phoenix initiative originally utilized CARES Act dollars to bring nutritious, high quality meals to COVID impacted families across the City of Phoenix. The Fresh Food Collab was able to participate in this by working with our brilliant and big hearted caterers, Jennifer Johnson and Scott and Lori Harlick to distribute fully prepared meals to various shelters, food pantries, and first responders. Some of these meals were also prepared by celebrity chef Danielle Leone of The Breadfruit. Eventually, we also partnered with Vincere Cancer Center to hand out food boxes at a COVID test site in Maryvale. Every food distribution was unique, the Fresh Food Collab got lots of practice in finding volunteers, finding trucks, figuring out which of various sources was bringing the food, figuring out where it needed to go and how to get it packed and distributed safely with sometimes uncooperative triple digit Phoenix heat. At times, volunteers were gathered to pack boxes before the sun had even risen. 
We supplemented all the physical food support by recording a series of video resources about healthy cooking, wellness, nutrition, and gardening. And our awesome caterers helped us make some cooking videos meant to pair nicely with the ingredients in the food boxes that we were distributing. In May of 2021, we invited over 350 Fresh Food Collab members, friends, and volunteers to Agave Farms for a thank you dinner, along with the Levine Community Action Committee and local politicians and school officials. Mike McMahon received an award by the Levine Community Action Committee for sowing the seeds of change. Agave Farms and Urban Farming Education received the School Connect Community Impact Award, which honors local businesses that worked with community partners to meet the needs of students and their families. Urban Farming Education would like to thank every volunteer and the over 30 organizations that made up the Fresh Food Collab. Together, we distributed a million pounds of fresh food boxes and over 15,000 prepared meals, helping over 50,000 of our neighbors during a challenging time. As the world gradually opened back up, urban farming education returned to focusing on developing local and international garden programs and the community of gardens. UFE is still working closely with Levine and other communities. We continue taking action to make the world a better place as a team, and we're empowered by all this experience. We learned how to partner and work with entities like food banks and schools. We learned how to work with volunteers we learned we could be an effective agent in a crisis. Fresh Food Collab proved that we were able to accomplish quite a bit as a group. Whether or not we have to rise to an emergency again in the future, we know we can apply these same lessons to building gardens and spreading nutrition and agriculture. We may or may not do a food distribution again, but we know how. We know how to build a coalition, how to raise an army, of doers good. The Fresh Food Collab is one of the seeds that helps start the community of gardens. And we want nothing more than for everyone to be a part of it. Find out how you can get involved in our current projects by going to our new website, weareufe.org. And don't forget to check out the other outstanding local business heroes that made up the Fresh Food Collab, like Green Living Magazine, Witnessing Nature and Food, and Amici Catering. How do we expect kids to learn anything about food and nutrition when they don't have the ability to work in a garden? That's, that's the question I want to leave you with.